I'm Hayden Francis. I'm a first year PhD student at the University of Cambridge in the Department of Chemistry. I did my undergraduate here, so I've been here for four years and then I've started my PhD now. My undergraduate was in natural sciences, specializing in chemistry. I'm part of the first generation of my family to go to university, and I'm actually the first person in my family to study a science subject. Cambridge as a university was intimidating up to the point where I actually got here, I would say, because then you realize that the people here are just normal people and are from the same kind of background as you. I work as part of the Faraday Institution's degradation project, and really degradation is the term we use for all of the different processes that take place that mean over your battery's lifetime, its performance decreases. When you charge your phone for the first time when it's fresh out of the box, you get a nice long battery life. However, the 50th time you find it runs out before you expect it to. Degradation on a mobile phone is kind of annoying, but it's really annoying when it comes to something like an electric vehicle where over its lifetime you're actually losing the amount of distance you're able to cover. So it's really important that we target that and are able to slow it down or ideally completely stop it. The main driving force behind my project is to develop a technology that could be really easily integrated into batteries when they're out in the field inside an electric vehicle. If you could get data in real time, you could then make adjustments to make sure it's not degrading as badly as it might be. And at the end of its life, when it's no longer useful in a car, you could evaluate how might it be able to be used for some other application. The Faraday Institution PhD program has been an incredible opportunity to work with people across the UK from different universities and even within that from different departments. You need chemists, material scientists, engineers, physicists, all kind of working together and that really helps you expand your skill set. And also there's a nice balance between academia but then also making sure that things are always driven by application. Mm -hmm.